Parking made easier and faster. Find out more in just a minute. And a drill is taking place at the Iowa City Airport this week. What you need to know. Plus, how you can participate in recognizing police officers during National Police Week. We have these stories and more coming right up on Iowa City Update. How convenient would it be if you could put more money in your parking meter without even having to walk outside? Well, now that's possible. The City of Iowa City and the University of Iowa are rolling out a new parking app, which allows users to pay from their smartphone. The app Passport Parking can be downloaded on the Apple App Store, Android Google Play, or by visiting pppark.com. Once downloaded, users will be able to pay for parking wherever signs are located. Uh, it only takes a few seconds to pay for your parking. Um, some nice features that come along with it is our monitoring your session. Uh, you can see when the meter is going to expire. Um, you'll be able to get an email, the receipt sent to you. The app will include over 2,000 on and off street spaces in the city and more than 800 spaces at the university. For more information, visit icgov.org slash parking apps. This is National Police Week, and on Tuesday, the Iowa City Police Department is hosting a recognition ceremony for police officers and their families. The ceremony will be taking place at 11 in the morning at Emma Harvett Hall in City Hall. The event is open to the public. If you can't make it that day, City Channel 4 will record the event and will be available for your viewing pleasure online at citychannel4.com or on our YouTube page. If you see sirens in emergency vehicles near the Iowa City Airport this week, don't be alarmed. It's a disaster drill. The Emergency Management Agency will be conducting a full-scale drill on Wednesday to test response time of our emergency agencies. It's important that drivers do not get distracted by the exercise and to remember to keep their eyes on the road. Uh, we don't want a bunch of secondary collisions because people are distracted by the emergency vehicles that might be in that area. People get distracted by bright flashy lights and we want people to just kind of keep on their, on their course and not slow down and predominantly not cause accidents. Another event drivers should be aware of on Wednesday is the annual Co-op to Co-op bike ride. This ride is part of Bike to Work Week. Bicyclists will leave from College Green Park in Iowa City at 5.30 and ride to the new Pioneer Co-op in Coralville. The cyclist should hit North Dubuque Street around 6 and with construction reducing the road to one lane, it will cause slower traffic. If you drive this route, please plan some extra time to get home or take an alternative route if possible. That's it for this week. Make sure you stay updated with everything Iowa City by signing up for our free email service at icgov.org slash e subscriptions. And have you liked us on Facebook or followed us on Twitter? You should and get up to the minute news and information. Have a great week, everybody. We'll see you next time on Iowa City Update.